hi everyone i'm back with my art journal which i have created and i will be working on this page and as you can see this page is already textured so what was uh, what happened was i was uh, doing some stamping on vellum and vellum do not take the whole stamp so what i did was i whenever i stamped i put the ghost stamping print on this page for different different stamps and uh eventually it created this kind of a very nice and textured background so this is where from where i will be starting so i have this uh, beautiful uh, decoupage napkin which i will be using today uh, first of all i will use this section of flower group and uh, i'm going to tear it off using water i have not yet removed the napkin layers uh, there are three layers uh, two layers extra two layers with this napkin which I have not yet removed uh, that makes uh, tearing the napkin with the help of water a little bit easier so I prefer to do not remove the layers until I have got the pieces which I need to use in my art journal This is another way of tearing. Uh, if you are not a fan of uh, using wet water and brush, then you can use your thumbs, both the thumbs, and tear the section which you want to use in the art journal. So now I'm removing uh, the layers from the tissue paper. I'm going to glue the tissue paper decoupage napkin down using a matte medium. I'm starting from the edge and lining the napkin with the edge. And once I'm happy, I'm going to lightly press it with my fingers and uh, then i'll start gluing the rest of the piece on the page and uh, always prefer to glue from inwards to outwards that will make sure that the napkin have very less wrinkles and it won't going to uh, tear off either Okay, everything is nice and dry and now I'm going to uh, trim off the edges okay I'm happy with how the page looks and now I just want to add a little bit more uh, grungy texture and for that I'm using this clockwork stencil and this is one of my favorite color from golden uh, that's what I'm going to use to add this uh, time pieces clock pieces onto the page it's a very uh, liquid acrylic paint so what i did was i first uh, let it soak into the sponge and after that i applied it onto the stencil that will help not to bleed down the ink, uh, paint uh, below the stencil really happy with the impression uh, it's sort of complementing uh, the color of the butterfly
and with the remaining color I'm going to add splatter from the same acrylic ink or paint Once everything is nice and dry, I bring out my charcoal pencil and I'm outlining uh, all the elements on the page which is um, this butterflies and the flower cluster and the leaves in this cluster. That will give a more of a 3D look to, the, to these elements because I felt that they were looking too uh, flat for the page and I wanted them to look alive and uh, flying or uh, like coming out of the page that's why I'm doing this uh, charcoal outlining Here I have done the outlining, uh, it's finished and time to add a quote to the page and this is the quote which I decided today. Uh, another reason why I wanted to add a stencil of the clock on the page. Once I'm happy with the placement of the quote, I'm going to glue it down using a glue stick. Okay, uh, now everything is glued down. I'm going to give an uh, outline to the quote using the Food and Soke black pen. And now I'm going to distress the edges using vintage photo distress ink. And here's the close up. I'm loving how the uh, iron oxide color is complementing the color on the body of the butterflies the wings of the butterfly and all that um, texture in the background is still showing up adding nice touch to the whole page and um, quite happy with <clears throat> how this page turned out very nice and very simple guys if you like the page do give it a thumbs up leave comments below share with friends and i'll see you in the next next video bye for now